A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 42. Jesus came to a village and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. She had a sister called Mary who sat down at the Lord's feet and listened to him speaking. Now Martha, who was distracted with all the serving, said, Lord, do you not care that my sister is leaving me to do the serving all by myself? Please tell her to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, he said, you worry and fret about so many things, and yet few are needed. Indeed, only one. It is Mary who has chosen the better part. It is not to be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. I just came back from office and it reminds me, this passage reminds me of the kind of feeling I have when as a director, I do so many things myself. And when other people direct in my same organization, they delegate their tasks to others and that, that bugs me. And it is not any fault of theirs. They're just doing what is comfortable for them and they have, that is their way. There's nothing wrong in anybody else's way or nor mine. It's just that I've chosen to do this thing my way. And if somebody else does not follow my standard, then there should not there, there is no necessity for me to be upset about them because there is no standard to speak of. There is no acceptable ways of doing anything. And I think many of us feel this way, especially those of us who are who are very rigid. I, I consider myself to be rigid, who are very rigid in certain ways and they think that like me, think that this is the way it should be done. And other people, they get, I get very worked up when I see other people getting away with a lot because they have the gift of the gap, they know how to get around things. But this passage, I think, addresses that. It addresses the fact that if you want to go ahead, you want to give more, or you want to do your part, and you, you, you think that this is your calling, or this is what it needs to be done, then that is your responsibility. You have been called to do it. Nobody else should be held accountable for what you are doing at, at your own accord. You have chosen to do and nobody else should be asked to do what you do. And I think the reward comes when you do it without expecting others to do the same. That's when I think God really rewards you and that's when your hard work will be recognized because you're not craving for it. The moment you crave for other people to recognize and to see that you're doing the hard work, I think you will you will lose any rewards that may otherwise have come to you. So I believe that this is what the story about Martha and Mary is meant to say to us. Do what you are asked to do. If you have to go over and beyond your responsibility, do it because you want to do it, not because you want others to see you do it and you expect everybody else to do what you do. And that is that those are my thoughts for today.